Welcome to Wake Up With God. We live stream daily Mass today. We attend the Holy Mass on Sunday, 21st April 2024. Fourth Sunday of Easter. I am the Good Shepherd, says the Lord I know my own sheep, and my own know me. Please keep quiet and concentrate on attending the Mass. Keep the Word of God strong in our lives. Keep the spirit of hope and the grace of healing alive every day. This is Keep the Faith, a daily celebration of the Holy Eucharist on Raja Katipuna. Remain still as we welcome the light of the Word in our hearts. God's will is not arbitrary. Oftentimes, we attribute many things to His will, even things that are evil or difficult to accept, sufferings both due to us and beyond our control. In some respects, this outlook absolves us from responsibility. Worse, this somehow suggests that God is responsible for the evil we experience. The image of the Good Shepherd, so beloved in the Gospel of John, paints a different picture of God's will. Here, Jesus sets for us the plan of God for our lives. Unlike thieves and robbers, the Good Shepherd desires not death and destruction for the sheep. Rather, He has come so that we might have life, and life that is abundant. Good morning, brothers and sisters, and welcome to Keep the Faith, the daily celebration of the Holy Eucharist with the Jesuits here on Radio Katipunan. Today is the fourth Sunday of Easter, Good Shepherd Sunday, the 21st of April, 2024. Our presider for this morning is Reverend Father Arnel Aquino of the Society of Jesus. Let us all rise as we sing the entrance hymn. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Good morning, Pope. Good morning, Good morning Father. Father. We have a full house. Yes. Uh, in other Southeast Asian countries, uh, the Jesuits always promote vocations on Good Shepherd Sunday. Do we do that here? We do, uh, Vocation Sunday. Okay, yeah. uh, it's been harder and harder to promote vocations to young people today because they always say, um, whatever you can do, brother or father, we can do as lay people except the sacraments. So let us ask the Good Shepherd to lead us to that value added that we can tell young people that if you become religious, there's some value added to just uh, what you are saying that what you can do uh, so that we can fulfill a need in the world and at the same time fulfill a deep need in ourselves. My dear sisters and brothers, we do not deserve to be called by the Good Shepherd and yet he is our beloved flock. So for all the times that we have been bad sheep or black sheep, we ask for forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to and you, my brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. 
For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, lead us to a share in the joys of heaven, so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated and let us listen to the word of God. The first reading is from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said, Leaders of the people and elders, if we are being examined today about a good deed done to a cripple, namely, by what means he was saved, then all of you and all the people of Israel should know that it was in the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. In his name, this man stands before you healed. He is a stone rejected by you, the builders, which has become the cornerstone. There is no salvation through anyone else, nor is there any other name under heaven given to the human race by which we are to be saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me and have been my Savior. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord, this has been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me and have been my Savior. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his kindness endures forever. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, see what love the Father has bestowed on us, that we may be called the children of God. Yet so we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. We do know that when it is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all rise to honor the gospel. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep and mine know me. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. A good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. A hired man who is not a shepherd and whose sheep are not his own sees a wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf catches and scatters them. This is because he works for pay and has no concern for the sheep. I am the good shepherd, and I know mine, and mine know me, just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father. And I will lay down my life for my sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. These also I must lead, and they will hear my voice, and there will be one flock, one shepherd. This is why the Father loves me, 
because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down on my own. I have power to lay it down and power to take it up again. This command I have received from my Father. My dear sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. If mom and dad initiated me into Sunday Mass, it was my uncle Will who initiated me into spirituality. He was the kind of Catholic who constantly pursued deeper knowledge and wisdom in faith, in prayer, in church life. So he read inspirational books and saw spiritual directors like Father Fathers Kiko Glover and Father R.C. Ocampo, God rest their souls. And whatever he learned as sheep, he passed on to me and Kuya as shepherd. But in our language, in our context as sons growing up in an emotionally complex household. Uncle Will was also a surrogate parent. When things didn't go well at home, he would always bring us to a movie, eat out, give us a good time. He soon became actively involved in his para-ecclesial Catholic movement and eventually migrated to the U.S. along with his family and many of their members to get a foothold for their community over there. Dear Arnell, I was diagnosed with Parkinson's exactly one month after our leader died, wrote Uncle Will last week. He's had Parkinson's for close to two years now. Three months after that, I had major back surgery, which leads me to ask God, what do you want from me now? The first 40 years, I was certain where God was leading me. I was very active in the community, traveling, giving retreats all over the world. Uncle Will was that uncle you never imagined would grow old or ever walk with a shuffle or just slow down. Today, I cannot do them anymore. I spend most of my time with my children and grandchildren. This gives me so much joy. But something seems lacking. What remains unanswered is, is this God's plan for me? How do I know whether this is God's will? Uncle Will is now going through diminishment. And I'm sure there will be a kinder or more politically correct word for that very soon. But that's what we Jesuits call it for now. Diminishment. And my heart goes out to Uncle Will. He really was an exceptional shepherd to their flock. And I bet this was because he was such a good sheep on his way there. I was a sheep, I know. But now, baliktad na. Shepherd sends email to sheep and asks, Nell, is this God's will for me? How do I know for sure? And I actually could feel my uncle's sadness in that email, dear sisters and brothers, and I've never seen him sad over himself. Thomas Aquinas, Omne Agents Agit CB Simile, Jesuit Brothers Memorize. <laughs> Clunkily put, everyone creating creates a similar to oneself. In other words, whatever we create bears an imprint, an image, a very similitude of us on it. So because God is our creator, then we all have an imprint, an impress of God in us. Goodness, beauty, love, etc. We learned that in grade school religion, diba? Right? Now, I was thinking, since God is divine shepherd, then we must have an impress of the shepherd in us all. But God became incarnate in Jesus, and Jesus was first good sheep before he grew up to be good shepherd. So we must also have an impress of the sheep in us all. I guess this is why we have lay people studying theology in LSD. Several are senior citizens, very accomplished in their fields, either retired or semi-retired. They feel the need to be shepherded more deeply into faith, life, and spirituality. And because that's more fun doing as a flock, some have formed little groups. They do prayer sessions, recollections, and masses together. But they're still very much shepherds. Parents to their children, pastoral heads in their parishes, 
advisors to former employees, omne agents agit CV simile. We all have the good sheep and the good shepherd in us because our creator is divine shepherd and once upon a time also sheep in Jesus. At hindi naging maramot ang ating pastol, he continues to share with us some measure of shepherd power, like he did with his disciples. And like him, we have led and guided, taught and counseled, fed and provided. We've been healers, forgivers, and even wonder workers too, like Peter and John in our first reading today. But as dear Uncle Will is going through now, our diminishment will eventually bring us back to default. Sheep. At hindi yan madali. Nasanay tayong pastol. In fact, our reason for living is shepherding, regardless of dying a thousand deaths a hundred times for the flock. Kaya alam natin yung sinasabi ni Jesus na laying down one's life for the sheep. That's why we also hear of the bedridden who refuse to die even when already gasping for air and right at the edge of eternity until a sheep whispers in their ear, Dad, Ma, we'll be okay. You may rest na po. Sisters and brothers, I don't think it's too soon for us to ask this grace. Lord, when my time for diminishment comes, please give me the grace of being a good sheep once again. And please help me make that my reason for living. Please make being sheep my reason for everyday joy. Kahit madalas, nakatanaw na lang ako sa malayo. My reason for everyday gratitude. Kahit na uugod-ugod na ako at marami na akong dinaramdam. My reason for still loving. Kahit na lagi ko nang limot ang mga pangalan ng mga nagmamahal sa akin. Please make being sheep not a reason to feel useless and abandoned and wishing for death, but rather reason to thank you for my life and reason to keep giving life by simply loving. Kasi kahit na nauubusan na tayo ng lakas ng katawan, siguro naman hindi tayo mauubusan ng pag-ibig, lalo na kung marami tayong ipon habang malakas pa tayo. Sana. Takot din po ako sa diminishment. For the past couple of years, I've been thinking about it more often than I ever did before. But the other day, I seem to have heard the Lord say, Arnel, anak, I created all of you because the love I have in my heart is pretty useless if I cannot share it. You, my sheep, are my reason for living because you are my reason for loving. Why do you think I offer you eternal life? So that our living and loving will go on forever. I created you to be good shepherds, yes. But I want you to remember that you, all of you, are, have always been, and will always be my sheep. And at the end of the day, the good shepherd always leads the sheep home. Back home to myself. If we could rise and profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Father Almighty, Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, Christ, his His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Virgin Mary, Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He He descended descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He He ascended ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there you will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray to the Father so that in following His Son Jesus, the Good Shepherd, we may become instruments of His love and care for His people. We implore Him and pray 
Lord, graciously hear our prayer. Lord, graciously hear our prayer. Bless our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our bishop, priests, deacons, and all church ministers. Give them warm and caring hearts that they may be true shepherds of your people. We pray. Lord, graciously hear our prayer. Grant that those in public office may be shepherds to those entrusted to their care, placing the welfare of others before their private interest and personal comfort. We pray. Lord, graciously hear our prayer. Make our families and parishes fertile seedbeds of priestly, religious, and missionary vocations who will continue the mission of the Good Shepherd, seeking out the lost and those outside the fold. We pray. Lord, graciously hear our prayer. Inspire more young people to find meaning and happiness in a life that is offered to you and dedicated to the service of the brothers and sisters, we pray. Lord, graciously hear our prayer. Embrace our departed loved ones into your loving arms, for being with you is their true home, we pray. Lord, graciously hear our prayer. Let us all pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. For those celebrating their birthdays, Joy Atienza, Ana Benaventura, Eric Reyes, Adela Reyes, Enzo G. Quijano, Sheila Quijano, Arian Reyes, Lauro Meneses, Bien Dilla, Gina Tinzon. For the healing of Bienvenido Tinio, Joaquin Patawaran, Sef Verhel de Dios, Abi Puno, Karina Ali, Tisha Aganon, Estela Marina Garcia, Michelle Salvador, May Seines, Sherry Ocampo, Annie Hizon, Anacleto Bado Badoy Jr., Junjun Badoy, Jig Anover, Carmelita Mina Manadan, Lobo, Tin Campos. For the repose of the souls of Ernesto Flor, Ildefonso Coscalvela Sr., Dr. Cesar Villar. Lumisona M. Credo, Aniseto, Aniseta Antonio de Guzman, and for the special intentions of Annie Bautista, Nightingale Keys, Dennis Stan, Violet, Nate and Hans, Jay and Patty, Jet and Ada, JP and Hill, Elo Santiago, Rose Gonzaga, Marie Keys and Family, Rachel Singian, Vanji Abelia, John, Joanna, and Sophie Echaos, Felici Silayan, Chinky Adoro, Jopi Badoy, Sam Rayala, Christine and Manolet Cuenco, Dr. Raymond and Judith Alonso, Dr. Abet and Lalay Atileno, Atilano, Gino and Monet Montano, Tito and Sabrina Panlilio, Cyrus Lim, Trina del Rosario, Maricar de la Ramas, Zelda and Arben Santos, Lisi Cecil and Susino, Marijo Mendoza and family, Anduiza and Lapid family, Net Anton, Tin Campos, Lucito, M7, Ian Seblano. And for all the intentions sent to our Facebook pages at Jescom and Radio Kalipunan, we pray. Lord, graciously hear our prayer. God, our Father, your Son, Jesus, has shown us through his life and teachings how to serve and worship you. Through the intercession of Mary, Mother of the Good Shepherd, provide us with laborers who will make the church the sacrament of your presence. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. This he asked to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, but in this time above all, to praise you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life 
and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open for the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and his rising, and his rising, the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exult in your praise, and even the heavenly powers through the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for the many, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the cup of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that sharing of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one family by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring us all to the fullness of love together with Francis, our Pope, Onesto, our Bishop, and all the men and women who minister to you, lay and religious alike. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her husband, with the apostles and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may become children of eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Now, my dear sisters and brothers, with deep faith, hope, and love in our hearts, we call on God, our Father. Our, our Father, who art in heaven, in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress and useless anxiety as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant us the peace, unity, and healing of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, peace be with you. Peace, 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 peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
My dear sisters and brothers, behold, the gentle Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. How blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only, only say, say the word, and my soul, soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd, and be pleased to settle in eternal pastures the sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. Please bow for God's blessing. May God, who by the resurrection of his only begotten Son, was pleased to confer on you the gift of redemption and of adoption, give you gladness by his blessing. Amen. May he by whose redeeming work you have received the gift of everlasting freedom make you children to an eternal inheritance. Amen. And may you who have already risen with Christ in baptism through faith by living in a right manner on this earth be united with him in the homeland of heaven. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you and the people you love, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us go in peace to love one another and be good sheep. Thanks, Thanks be to Cảm ơn các bạn đã xem video. Nếu thấy hay, hãy nhấn like, đăng ký kênh và comment để ủng hộ chúng mình nhé.